Alrighty, so today what we did is my friend and I, Robert Bates, we went to the Hilti store in Elmhurst, Illinois, and the store was awesome. You know, it was like walking into a toy store for, for us, you know, and it was just uh, great to see all the Hilti products all lined up and displayed, and you, yeah, they actually have a demo uh, section where you could test the tools out. So it was, it was, it was a great experience. The personnel was fantastic. You know, the I will I will say this though, their computer system on how everything is ran, it's a little outdated. The, it was a great experience. It's only like 45 minutes on the street from us, which is, it's not that bad. So we're gonna go through these items that I got and see what these actually are. Now I want to thank Robert Bates so much for uh, taking me with him to the, go to the Hilti store. It was awesome. He made a big purchase. Uh, I made a purchase, so it's good. Alrighty, so first what we got, what I, so first what I got is I got uh, healthy safety glasses. I will be wearing these from now on. Look at that. That is awesome. Alrighty, so I got two versions of this. The, it's the 5 uh, hex socket. Uh, I got one that is not magnet and one that is magnet. So I wanted both versions of those. And there you go. All right, here's the second one. There you go, this one is, this one is the one that's magnetized. And there you go. There's a ball bearing inside that helps you actually lock it into place. That's actually cool. I like that. I like that. Then the magnet. Perfect. So I got two versions because I need two for the all the versus videos that we do. We got the this now. Now this uh, bit kit was ninety six dollars. Ninety six dollars for this. We're gonna save this. For another video, we're gonna test the crap out of these and see if they're if they are worth ninety dollars. We're gonna open this one up later. All right. So th then, what what I got is I got the brushless twelve volt quarter inch hex impact driver. Now this this is what the brush version it was. Brush version and brushless version. So as you can see. The design is, it's not the same, but it is diff, it, it is different. So I like this, I like the brushless version better. Uh, both models are variable trigger only. We will do a versus videos between these two to see what the difference in power is. All right, so next I got the, the brushless hammer drill. The uh, two speed settings, uh, 15 point clutch plus two. No, sorry, 15 point clutch with the setting of its own dial for screw, drill, and hammer. All right, so I do have the brush version of this. As you can see, there is a big difference. So this is the sound. Speed two. So yeah, major sound difference between the brushed, uh, the brushed and the brushless. So we will be doing a versus video between these two as well. All right, I just got these in the mail. I did get a 22 volt charger and a four amp hour 22 volt battery. Now, just like on the uh, on the 12 volt, you tap on the eject button. You don't push it in. You just tap it. The same thing with these, you just tap the ejection button and it shows you the, the bare life instead of having a, an extra button, which I think that that's awesome. I think that's awesome. All right, and this is my new favorite tool. My, and I said in previous videos, my favorite tool was this version. The brush version was my favorite tool, but they just came out with the brushless version and it look, it's a little bit more compact and it's brushless so now and and it's more powerful 
So we have two four amp hour batteries, on, one on each of them. This is speed one. Yeah. That's speed one. And this is speed two. So we did a versus video between this and the DeWalt because the DeWalt has the same type of tool and the the results were a little iffy because both of them had struggled doing both uh, all types of jobs. So we did a brushed version versus brushless but we are going to revisit this and do a brushless versus brushless. That is so much more torque. So much better. I this this is my my new favorite tool. So yeah. And last but not least, we have the 22 volt brushless hammer drill. Now this thing looks like a beast. Uh, it is a uh, the rubber molding around it is awesome, just like all the other tools. You know, it is so it's almost seamless between the fiberglass and the, the rubber molding. It's awesome. I love the engineering. Uh, and quality of the tool when it comes to Hilti. Uh, it has a, a metal casing around the hammer feature. It's a 15 point clutch plus two for the drill and hammer. And then you uh, and then you don't need a screw feature because all you have to do is be in the clutch position, then you're fine. So at two speeds, it has one and two. And like once again, this is model number SF6HA22. And the RPMs on this, on speed 1, is 0 to 490. On speed 2, 0 to 2,000. I'll put what the torque is in right now. Uh, but I think we are going to test this out in another video because that battery is going to take a little while to charge. And it is seriously, seriously awesome. Like I said, this channel loves all brands and it's going to get into Hilti big time. Now one thing I wanted to mention when I want to talk about pricing on these on this stuff. All right, so the brushless impact uh, the brushless 12 volt impact was $90 tool only. It does not come with a belt clip, no batteries, no bag, no charger. All you get is the tool itself and the instructions. And the same thing with the quarter inch hex drill driver. And the 22 volt hammer drill, the 22 volt ha hammer drill costs $130 at the Hilti store. Tool only, no belt clip, no nothing, just the, the, the body and instructions. And so that's pretty cheap, but as soon as you start adding batteries and chargers, which is everything sold separately, individually, I might add. Uh, that's when your price starts to go up because they don't have discounts. If you get two batteries, you save money. Uh, a four amp hour battery costs $111. A 2.6 amp hour battery costs uh, $89. And a six amp hour battery, oh no, an eight amp hour battery costs $203. And so you could, uh, a, char a regular charger costs. Uh, sixty dollars and a fast charger costs about eighty and so once you start at uh making your kit that's when you start to get into the three to four hundreds for a single tool and so if you add two bad this tool two batteries a charger bag and belt clip you're looking at a four hundred fifty dollar single tool kit and so but the bare tool only is cheap so this drill was 130 bucks you know, the Ryobi, uh, the brushless Ryobi hammer drill kit with a charger, bag, bell clip, tool, and a 4 amp hour regular battery costs 160 So this, uh, uh, the tool itself is 130 So that's when things start to go skyrocket. And that's when the tool becomes expensive. You already need chargers and batteries for this bare tool to be cheap so but if you're starting out you know 130 bucks for a bare tool for uh the brand new brushless drill it's not that bad at all it's really not and i spent 
on the brushless 12 volt hammer drill, I think it was $90. Uh, I think it was the same thing, 80 to, 80 to $90. And so yes, yeah, so you actually, for some of this stuff, you actually need to search the Hilti store for it. You know, you can't get these on eBay yet. You can't get them on, on Amazon. You can only get them at the uh, Hilti physical store or the Hilti online store. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. We are going to be testing the crap out of these, uh, out of these tools. And we're going to do major versus videos between uh, Hilti and all the other brands. Especially versus DeWalt and Milwaukee. And see how they hold up. You know, Makita as well. Cobalt. Ryo, uh, it's a Ryobi. I'll start saying Ryobi for now on because that's how it's pronounced. And so, yes. But uh, these Hilti tools are awesome. Lightweight. Powerful. You know, it's you can't go wrong. It's, they're just... they. The kits are expensive. Individually, the tools are cheap, but the kits, to make it, uh, the tool into a kit, it's expensive. So, that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.